Hello everyone and welcome to IXAMD. In this video, I am going to talk about the virtual memory. Virtual memory is very widely used in the operating system and it is very important concept when it comes to your uh, machines like uh, computer, laptops or your workstation in your offices. So why there is a need of virtual memory? Why we need a virtual memory at all places? What is a virtual memory and how we actually implement the virtual memory these all questions will be answered in this video and at the end of the video you will be able to understand the entire concept so first of all we have to understand what is a virtual memory virtual memory is just a memory management technique used by operating system so what is an operating system if you don't know it is an interface between the user and the hardware of the system which you are operating on so memory management technique used by the operating system there are many memory management techniques one of them is the virtual memory what actually virtual memory do virtual memory allow you to increase the capacity of the main memory but for a temporary purpose and this temporary purpose is done using the ssd or the hdd that is the hard disk okay now we have to understand how it actually works for the temporary purpose so the entire flow will be discussed in the next slide but you have to understand that whatever you are doing is in the ram whatever you are doing is in the main memory but whatever you are doing if you are operating on so many tabs if you are operating and utilizing something which is more than the memory which you have been given by the main memory or ram then how your system is going to tackle that particular thing you are trying to use something beyond the capacity of the main memory or the ram in that particular scenario what thing we use is the virtual memory virtual memory is basically implemented using the ssd or the hdd that is the hard disk we actually transfer some of the less used data to the hard disk and we actually take the data needed by the cpu to the ram so there is a complete kind of cyclic movement from the ram to the virtual memory and then to the uh, ram again by the virtual memory so there is a cyclic movement and that cyclic movement is actually helpful and it allows the user to have a kind of environment that it uh, has an enormous amount of uh, memory to operate on so that is the thing with the virtual memory we are having a memory but that is virtual and the user understands that he is having a memory which is uh, very large as compared to what he is being offered by the main memory or the RAM. Now, how it actually works is being uh, like uh, written into these steps. So once you are done with these four steps, you will be able to understand why we need it and how it works. So whenever your computer stores something in the RAM or in the main memory, that information is assigned a memory address memory address is nothing it is just a reference where the information is stored onto the ram chip now when your computer starts and you are using your ram and it is running low on the ram side like the things that are being like the capacity of the ram is exceeding or the memory uh, of the ram is near to exhaustion what the operating system will do operating system will immediately jump into the case and will start transferring the data from the ram to your hard drive because he has to maintain a good amount of ram in order to make the processing faster now what is the next step the data stored which uh, is on the hard drive is always assigned a physical address because that is stored onto the hard drive everything which is stored onto the hard drive will have a physical address and everything which is stored in the ram let's say or with the cpu it is having a logical address physical address is a reference to where the information is stored in the drive now the operating system will help to map the physical addresses to the virtual addresses or the logical addresses as the part of the virtual memory process so when you are taking anything from the ram to the uh, hard drive it is the conversion of the logical or the uh, like uh, uh, normal virtual address to the physical address and once you are taking anything from the hard drive to the ram it is that kind of conversion which is actually happening from the physical address to the virtual address this is also taken care by the operating system now once this is all is done whenever the program uses stored data in the virtual memory the operating system know how to find that data using the physical address 
so whatever is there it is there but not actually there with the main memory but the user feel that it is there in the main memory but actually it is stored onto the hard drive just in order to make sure that everything is processed properly operating system will always have a track of the uh, instructions which are stored all the data which are stored onto the computer be it be ram or be it be the virtual uh, thing in the hard disk so this is the way how actually the virtual memory work completely switching between the uh, ram and the hard disk now how we are going to decide that which particular thing is going to get out of the, the ram and will be stored into the hard drive because getting from the hard drive to the ram is easy because cpu will instruct the operating system to get this data so they know that they have to get this data but cpu is never going to tell what kind of data you have to take from the ram and put it back to the hard drive now for solving this particular thing we have three basic algorithms which are used for managing the virtual memory they are fifo lru and opt fifo is for the first in first out and this is the most straightforward technique that you will use here the basic idea here is that whatever is in the ram for the longest amount of time you have to take that out and place it into the hard drive and you just create a space in the ram by this manner so the thing is like whatever is placed in the ram for the longest move that to the virtual space okay then the second largest or the longest basically then the third one so in mid, like this is the order the one who is being lasting there for long in the uh, ram it has to be taken out this is the fifo it is very straightforward very easy to implement but it has a lot of drawbacks because it will increase the number of uh, exchange between the ram and the particular hard drive because it doesn't mean if there is something which is residing in the ram for longest amount of time it will be not of use it will be of use and we don't know so again there will be a kind of page request paging thing will happen so the number of pagings will be increased if we go for the fifo now lru lru is the sophisticated method for the virtual memory algorithm least recently used algorithm so here what happens your computer keeps a track of the data when the data is used in the ram and it will make a room in the ram and replaces that data which is not been used for the longest amount of time right so if there is something which is least recently used that will be the best candidate to get out from the ram and put it into the hard drive because that particular candidate is not been called by the cpu for the longest amount of time so that's why this particular thing lru is most optimal way basically because it is also easy to implement because we can keep a track that how we have to uh, like uh, track everything we can track the processes there is nothing which we cannot implement okay opt the most advanced virtual memory algorithm is the opt that is the optimal algorithm here in this particular thing we actually consider a lot of things we actually consider the past uses like we do in lru and it predict that which data will be needed soon so it is the most optimal way because it does not look backward also but it look forward also that which particular data will be needed soon and when it know that this particular data is going to be needed soon it is not going to remove that thing so it is basically on the futuristic approach but the algorithm involves very, very complex methods to implement this thing it is the best to think that's why it is called as optimal algorithm but it is the hardest one to implement so most of the time we go for fifo and for the lru so this is the way how your computer decide what goes into the virtual memory now at a glance whatever we have discussed i'll just wrap up this thing into this piece of uh, picture memory management using the virtual memory so you know that uh, in the cpu there will be cache and many a time cpu will refer to cache only for the data which are very frequently used if that is not there the data is requested by the ram and the ram will have the set of instructions which are there in the main memory if ram also does not have with this thing the thing goes to the secondary storage but before going to the secondary storage you will have a virtual memory and that particular virtual memory will actually be responsible for the communication between the ram and to the hard storage so that if there is something which is being taken out uh, by the ram frequently and wanted by the cpu in 
the uh, like uh, in the near time you will first get the access of the virtual memory so this is the entire diagram where you will understand that where all components of the memory thing help each other in order to help the cpu to process the information and also this is the entire memory management which you will see at any point of time it is the entire communication that happened between the cpu ram and the virtual memory or the hard disk or the ssd so this was all for this video and i hope you guys like this video and it was informative for you all um, and the concept of the virtual memory is being clear to you all if you have any doubt you can just write that in the comment section we will be more than happy to help you out for this thing if you still want to connect with us you can just uh, write us at hello at examb.com or you can just call on the number which is flashed on the screen if you want to prepare 50 percent faster with high exam b you just need to subscribe our channel hit the bell icon and like this video and also the last thing to go for it is to go to the website that is www.iexambi.com check out our faculty profiles check out our the courses which we are offering check out the demo packages that are there so that you will get to know what is being offered if you are preparing for the government exam at the same time you are working or you don't have any clue from where to start or whatever is your condition we have everything at your disposal to make that thing happen to make your dream come true so prepare 50 percent faster again with high exam b and it is just a step away so see you in the next video with more conceptual understanding of the it related topics by that time keep practicing and stay updated